Uh, today at about uh, 319 AM, the Austin Police Department received a call of a shots fired in uh, this general area, uh, South, uh, South, Meadows, uh, South Meadows and Parkfield. Uh, officers responded to that to the area and began to check the area for those uh, reported those uh, gunshots. The Austin Police Department received an additional call at about 3:30 a.m. at a residence in the 1400 block of South Meadows, which is behind me. Uh, uh, that call was of a shoot, stab, hot shot call, uh, and there was uh, a uh, officers responded to that location and located a adult male, a white male, uh, mid 30s. Uh, with injuries consistent with a firearm. EMS responded and uh, assisted, uh, performed life-saving measures, but unfortunately that subject was pronounced deceased at about 3.56 a.m. Officers investigated uh, uh, the need for, uh, to look for uh, other potential victims in the area at the location where that call came out, uh, cleared a residence associated with that call, did not locate any other persons uh, on scene. Officers received information on an involved subject, a person of interest, um, and made contact with that subject uh, via phone and uh, were able to make contact with him in South Austin. I don't have an exact location for where that subject was uh, uh, detained or, or spoken with, um, but uh, he is uh, in custody at this time. Um, all the parties involved in the incidents appear to be acquainted or, uh, or known to each other. We don't believe there's any parties uh, directly involved in the incidents that are outstanding, so we do not believe that there is a danger to the public at this time. <clears throat> so it does appear to be an isolated incident. Uh, if anyone has information in regards to the incident, we would ask you to call the homicide tip line at 512-974-8477. Um, that is probably all the information that I can put out, uh, but if there's any questions, I'll see if I can answer them. Is this considered a homicide then? It is, it is. Is this the second or the third homicide? This is the third. Okay. Can you just speak to, we're very, very early into January, party three homicides in Austin. What should the general public be aware of? Uh, I can't really speak to any, uh, you know, uh, trends or year-over-year -year data uh, that you could probably reach out to the public information office later. Just for clarification, there were two calls, the 3.19 a.m. shots fired call and the 3.30 call? Yeah, that one came out, I think, about 3.29. Those are the two calls I know of. If there, was, there might be additional calls, uh, those are the two that I know of. Sometimes, especially with shots fired calls, you, yeah. you'll get multiples. And that shot fired, first one, second one was... Correct. And what you believe that just involved these two males? There was the person who obviously was fatally wounded, and then there was the individual that's in custody. Those are the only two people involved in this. Oh, there's very well other people involved in the incident. I, I don't have information in regards to who they are, but yes, I, I would assume there'd be additional people involved. But no, I don't have any else, anything else to give you. What is going on right now at the scene behind you, and how long do you expect this roadway to be closed, and what should neighbors be advised to do? Sure. Uh, the, uh, behind me is the, the initial homicide investigation. It is pretty early on in that investigation, so the medical examiner's office will also uh, respond, uh, as well as our crime scene uh, technicians. Um, so uh, processing of the scene uh, and uh, uh, canvassing the area. Uh, neighbors should expect uh, this road to be closed um, for a, an extended period of time. Uh, park field behind us is open as a major artery. Um, South Meadows will be sh uh, shut for some time, um, but we are allowing uh, residents to, to exit. Um, just we would ask them to speak with officers before they go out and about. My last question, was the person found inside a home or outside? <coughs> outside of, of the residence. Okay. 